Like most microcontrollers, the PIC32 does not come with an analog output. However, we can use the output compare module and a low pass filter to create something that looks like an analog output. So let's see how we might do that. So here's a PWM waveform coming out, in this case from output compare module five. And if we pass it through an RC filter here, we have a resistor and then a capacitor to ground. So this is the simplest type of passive low pass filter. And if we look at the voltage now here, then that voltage will be changing more slowly than it's changing here on the digital output. And in fact, if it's changing slowly enough, then we can actually make the output at this location look like the time average of the digital pulse train. So for here, for example, if the duty cycle is say 33%, then the value here is about 33% of the maximum value of 3.3 volts. So the RC filter is a way to approximately time average the output from the output compare, but it's not doing exactly an averaging. So let's take a closer look. So here we zoom in on the pulse width modulation output. And what we see is that when the output goes from low to high right here, then what's actually happening on the capacitor is it's charging up. And it's charging up by a first order time constant. So this is something that you've seen before. So the charging cycle looks something like this. It's growing towards an asymptote. And then when the voltage drops low again, then it charges down or discharges again according to a first order exponential. So it looks something like that. So that's what's happening here. It's actually increasing and then decreasing. And uh, we're basically seeing just the linear portions at the beginning here of, of each of these charges and discharging. So if the average looks like this dotted line that you see going across here, what's actually happening is you're getting a slight jitter up and down about that average. And if we extend this asymptote out here, so when it starts out discharging, if we extend that asymptote down to when it reaches zero volts, then that duration there is called the RC time constant. So that's just tau is equal to resistance times the capacitance. Okay. So in effect, we get this filtered output, but in reality, we get something that jitters up and down around it. And if this time constant is very long, then the jitter is very small. It has very little time to charge and discharge. Uh, but the problem is if I want to change the average value, say from 33% up to 66%, it takes a while for that average value to rise up to that uh, desired output. Uh, on the other hand, if we make the time constant small, uh, then we can more quickly change our average output values, but the problem is that we get more jitter because we have uh, a smaller time constant for the charging and discharging. 